Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Inside the Nest. My name is Brendan Faraday, the SID over at Post University. Uh, joining me today is men's head soccer coach, Ted Haley. Uh, Ted has all the accolades in the world, uh, recently winning back-to-back -back CACC titles and a berth in the Sweet 16 tournament last year in the NCAAs. Ted, how are you doing today? How are you holding up? How are you keeping busy during this? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a rainy a rainy Wednesday, and uh, we'd love to be dealing with the with the elements out on a pitch somewhere. But uh, unfortunately, I'm I'm busy homeschooling here on uh, one of our homeschooling days, so I've got the three kids at home. So, but uh, dealing dealing with it, you know, moving moving forward. That's all we can do. We've got we've got we've got a lot of club stuff going on, and uh, so I'm fortunate to be able to be entrenched in that. And, and then we've got, you know, our weekly Zoom calls with, with the college guys and just making sure that communication with, with uh, everyone all over the world from our roster is, is kind of doing well, staying on task with, with the academic side of it and uh, getting their workouts in when they can. Obviously, things have tightened up a lot in different parts of the world, and uh, so it's changed a little bit, but... Um, but for the most part, uh, the reports coming back are that everyone's everyone's uh, you know doing the work and everyone's um, doing well in the classroom, which is massive. And then and then uh, eager to get back. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about last season. It was a historic run, uh, probably the greatest postseason run in school history in, in any sport. Um, tell me how special that team was and how it's been over the last two years with the back-to-back -back CACC titles. Um, and getting a taste of the big stage uh, and making it to the Sweet 16. Yeah, I mean, um, it's it's weird to feel disappointed about such a great season um, because I think I think we all, uh, at least all that were um, in our inner circle, thought that we had more to give and and more gas in the tank. I would say for the for the tournament and would have loved to to play for the right to go to the final four. Um, it didn't work out that way. Um, and I think that we, we had, you know, what's, what's difficult now is we have such a great group coming back and um, with essentially the whole, the whole group coming back um, a few, a few missing parts that I think we, we recruited well enough to, to, uh, to really um, help us. So I think we would be we'd be in really good shape right now if we were playing. Um, obviously, that's not the case. But um, the, the the squad last year, uh, I think it was all because of the setup from the year before and and the the grind that we went through week by week and month by one month and and uh, and then you know to to lose and be disappointed. Um, and it, you know, in the NCAA's the prior year, and then set new goals to to really take that next step for the program. Um, that's where that's where I think mentally we were ready, and I think mentally we were ready to kind of take that next step this year. Uh, it doesn't always happen that way. It's not that easy, but uh, I think for for us as a staff, for myself, um, we reset the goals on the way back from Erie and and losing in the Sweet 16. We had the mindset of okay, what do we need to do to to travel to Tampa, which is where the Final Four was supposed to be this December. But um, now we've reset it again. Um, we've got Colorado on our mind. Colorado Springs is where where twenty twenty one is, and and uh, and and we wanna we wanna do everything in our power to to fight to get there. Uh, and you've had a lot of great teams over your time at Post. What kind of separates? this group from the other great ones you've had? Uh, I think that, I think depth is one thing. We've, we've got a tremendous, we had a tremendous amount. We have a tremendous amount of quality players that, that um, at any given time could be a uh, player on the field. And, and it, you know, obviously with guys like Sergio Diaz and, and Andrea and, and, and Francesco and, and kind of the list goes on, you have guys that you can depend on day by day to come out and do the right things in every single session. And then, and then it translates into good performances over the, over the weekends or over the match days. And that's, that's, um, 
we've we've tried to professionalize it as much as we can with with the guys as far as the mentality of it and how we go about it. And I think that they have embraced that, you know, and and love love to go to work. They love to get better. They love to get in the weight room and 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 do the business. So um, and that's really that 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 cultural aspect um, is huge. Now that is not dismissing. 2013, you know, uh, Coach Lou's team back in uh, back a million years ago, uh, because they were certainly uh, invested in what what they were doing. Um, but we certainly weren't as deep back then when when we when we were very very strong. Um, but we had a, we had an edge about us. Joey Bacciello, Kevin Ipina, um, and that group brought an edge uh, to who we were and. Now we have that edge back again, and and uh, and winning becomes cultural. And um, do you have a lot of re- how many returning players from last year's team do you have coming back? Even we've got, we've got 30, 30, 33, I believe, and then we brought in we brought in thirteen or fourteen guys um, that that would that would be new to the program. Um, and we're still working on that because we've got some, you know, that obviously you, 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 you make a good run and, and a lot of people are interested in, in what you're doing. And uh, so, um, which is great. It's a fam- fabulous thing as far as recruiting is concerned. Um, but I feel comfortable right now with the returning group and then the guys that we added last January. And then, and then um, this, this year, the guys that signed are, it's a tremendous class. So, um, really looking forward to it, and it's just it's difficult to uh, it's difficult to not be together right away, and it's just you know it's one of those things where we're just maintaining by going week to week, and and staying on task, and and uh, you know just getting after it as much as we can. Uh, you do have a veteran team coming back with championship pedigree. Considering the expectations that you had going to the season, probably looking for at least a three-peat and a deeper run in the NCAA tournament. Um, how have you been able to keep your team motivated during everything, especially just having the expectations that you did have? Um, what's the general mood have you got, gotten from the team throughout everything? I think, I think that um, the, the mood's been great. The, mood, the guys have been fantastic. And, and the, the, the idea of um, – having to go through this and, and learn from afar and, and study from afar, um, I think is understandable. It's understandable. Um, and many universities have moved in this direction. So it's, it's not novel and that idea, but we're, what we're doing is just making sure that uh, everyone that is invested in our program is making sure that they're doing everything on their end week to week. Um, and, and some of them are taking more classes than they usually would. Some of them are working. Some of them are, are having to train in their garage. But um, that's the time, you know, this is the, that's what we have to do during this, this, this time in this world. And, uh, and I, know it's, I know it's not always as fun or as, as normal, but it's, it's something that we, we, have to, we have to put forward. So um, we've been able to keep a good, a good connection. And I think that's key. And then and it's just the, the, the guy's mentality, you know, I think mentally we we're stronger than we ever have been. And, uh, and guys understand that, you know, we need to control what we can control and the uncontrollables are out there, but we're not going to make excuses. And, and what are some of the biggest obstacles you may face moving on to next season? Um, and how do you plan on attacking those with your team? Just being a part for so long, you know, I mean, we, 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 I mean, I feel bad for the spring sports because now you're looking at a, a really long gap and, and um, we were lucky enough to, to go and win a championship and, and go to the NCAA and, and, uh, and have, have that season. Um, but not having, being together in the spring or being together for a few weeks and, you know, and then, and then everyone going home. Um, and then obviously, not not being together this fall, not being together this spring, um, I think it's going to be I think it's going to be crazy because everyone's going to be just chomping at the bit to get back on the pitch and and really get after it. Um, so I'm just I can't wait till that first session. Um, but on the other side of it, I think I think that the the biggest obstacle is just to you know keep them 
motivated to to get back together in August and and you keep you know you look at the calendar and it's a long way away but then you blink and we're we're turning the pages so uh, we'll be there soon and, and hopefully hopefully we'll be prepared I just can't wait to get together again. And, and finally, you mentioned about motivation. I mean, what do you say to players who maybe you know, and it could go to your team, it could be you know your team or other general student athletes who have lost their season. Uh, what message yeah. you have for them, you know, about sticking to the plan and and, and moving forward even after? You know, I think the goals, the goals, the goals don't change. You know, the goals don't change. So we're looking at, like I said, we reset our goals based on the news and based on the, the weekly. Um, changes that and monthly changes that we've had to deal with and every state is different every country is different um, but you know at, at some point we're going to get back to there's there's an end goal and there's always going to be a trophy to lift you know um, and hopefully there's two trophies to lift you know that's that's something that that we want to do we want to we want to or three you know regular season championship a, a conference championship and a national championship that would be that would be uh, outstanding but you know that's a that's a ton of work to get through. And um, I'm just, I just want to get to work. Well, thank you, Ted, for joining me. I appreciate it. Um, pleasure. My pleasure, pleasure, as my always. Pleasure. Yeah, my pleasure. Uh, it was great to speak with you and catching up with you. Um, and we'll see you around. All right, my man. Thanks. Got it.